Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to perfect print and cut in Silhouette Studio. I know for me, um, print and cut has probably been the hardest thing for me to master. And I have finally learned all the tips and tricks and today I'm going to show you how to foolproof get a perfect print and cut every single time. So it's not hard, you just have to make sure that all of the tips that I'm gonna show you today, you gotta to make sure that you incorporate all of them so that you will get a successful print and cut. So right now I just have a blank page, um, eight and a half by 11, um, because I'm gonna cut out stickers today and that's the size of my stickers, so that's just, regular um, paper size, um, re regular letter paper size. So what I'm gonna do is drag um, my sticker files. So um, I have, so you just go to your library and um, oops, I click on your sticker sheets and just click on it and then it'll bring it to your workspace. But I already um, chose the designs that I wanted. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag these over here. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is turn on the um, registration marks. So we're going to go up here to the registration marks window and then we're going to come over here to style and we're going to click type one, which is the cameo portrait curio. Uh, pretty much all of the uh, current machines that Silhouette has right now. Um, this one is for the SD, which is like the original original cameo and um our silhouette machine so um I, it's probably rare for a lot of people to use type two but um, for today we're going to be doing type one so we're going to turn it on um okay so i want to talk about the um the uh default settings over here a lot of people you know you can technically shift do you see when i shift it the way that it moves everything so that way you can have a smaller setting uh, you know a different cutting area for me personally i normally try to just leave them alone so i'm going to go back to restore default if you can help it just leave it be i for some reason have and I need to check again, but I've tried to fiddle with the defaults and it always kind of messes up my cut file. So my suggestion is if you can let it be, leave it be. So we're going to just not touch any of that. And this is already all a default setting. So as soon as you activate the registration marks, you don't have to worry about that. Okay. So next we're going to go over to the design page um, and this is just where you change uh, the letter size but we're fine there and then we're going to go down here to the print and cut borders so the red line is the cut border and that's where that is the you know inside is where the machine is going to cut so the red line is the cut border what you need to do is activate the show print border and that's just going to be this is that's just going to show you that everything within the print border lines is going to be printed so for example if you were to put this you know over here it's not going to print that part of it because it's not within the print border so one thing that is very important is that when you are doing print and cut you have to a make sure it's within the netting two it's within the print which is the faint gray line and three it's all within the red cut line so for example if i had this you know right there and then this fits perfectly in your um registration print and cut is not going to work even if one tiny portion is not within the borders, it is not going to be a successful print and cut. The machine will not recognize it. 
So, and even if you have, you know, even if it touches the netting, even a little bit, it is not going to be a successful print and cut. So I can't stress this enough. Make sure it's within all of the three designated things. So next thing we're going to do is go to the um, down here where it says custom. The um, So even though I'm using the automatic cameo, you're going to have to go down here where it says printer and click on current printer. So I'm not quite sure of why this is exactly, but it's something to do with making sure that your printer and the software are kind of like cohesive with each other, if that makes sense. So that way the printer and the machine knows, hey, the printer already has the default settings, which is eight and a half by 11. Everything is cohesive. So you're just gonna go ahead and click on the current printer. And that is going to really help with um, your print and cut. So now we're going to be ready to cut. And then you're going to look for the white sticker paper and then make sure that you obviously change your uh, paper settings. And now another thing is, um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go up here to file and then we're going to print. And so you got to make sure that your printer is the actual printer that you're using and all that good stuff. Send, um, send it to print. Um, I'm going to actually cancel because I already printed a copy. And um, this next footage is going to be footage of the um, actual machine cutting. And um, I also wanted to add that another huge, huge thing is to make sure that you properly align the paper to the mat. So try to try to line it up as close as you can to those uh, corners um, because any little misalignment will also um, not help your print and cut. So I hope that these tips and tricks are helpful to you. I promise that you will have a successful print and cut if you follow these steps that I've just, <coughs> excuse me, presented to you. So let me know in the comments below if you tried it and I promise it's going to be so easy and print and cut is one of my favorite features, but it has been the feature that has given me the biggest headache. But now I promise that with these tips, I have not messed up a print and cut. And also, no matter how intricate and how small, that's why I chose to cut these um, planner stickers for you guys today because I wanted to show you that no matter how small and how precise, when you perfect print and cut, you can print and cut down to like millimeters. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Let me know in the comments below if it worked for you. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.